Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Part Shala's video series on basic Linux commands. This is part 17 of the video series and in today's video we would be discussing about the awk command. The awk or the awk command is a powerful command line tool in Linux that allows you to process and manipulate text fields. It is particularly useful for working with structured data such as a CSV file or logs. The basic syntax of the awk command is as follows. You could type in awk space a certain set of pattern and an action that you would like to do with it and the name of the file that you would like to read through. Where pattern is a regular expression that specifies which line to match and action is a set of commands to perform on the matched lines. Here are a few examples of how awk can be used. If you want to print the second field of a CSV file, you could say awk hyphen f. Because it's a CSV file, you could use the delimiter uh, as a comma. And then you could ask it to print $2, which is the second field of the file, file.csv. If you want to print the number of lines in a file, you could say awk single inverted commas you could say end print nr and the file inside the curly braces and you would be able to get the number of lines in a file now if you want to print all lines containing a specific word uh, where like the word word you could say awk you could type in the word that you want to print and then you could say print dollar zero which will print the entire line for you if you want to print the average of all numbers in a file, you could simply say awk sum plus equal to dollar one. That means it would add all the numbers and depending upon the number of the numbers that are there, it would then divide the sum that we get. You can also use awk with different delimiters instead of using white space as a delimiter awk hyphen f and then you could use a pipe as a delimiter this time in the previous example you saw that we use comma as a delimiter in this case we are using a pipe as a delimiter awk is also capable of having conditional statements so we could use if else statements in the awk to perform different actions based on certain conditions for example you can print only the lines that contain a specific word or print messages based on the value of a field in this example that we see here this would print dollar zero which is the entire line if dollar two that is the second field in that line is greater than 10 so if it is less than 10 it would not be printing any of the stuff but if it is greater than 10 it would definitely be printing the lines which are matching the condition that is field number two is greater than 10. we can also have loops that is for and while loops in the awk command for example, you can print the sum of all numbers in a file or replace all occurrences of a word with another word. So you could simply say for i is equal to 1, i is less than or equal to nf, that is the number of records. We could say i plus plus. So it would give me a sum of all the things. Counting the number of occurrences of a specific word is also possible. So you could use the below example. So it would give us number of occurrences of a specific word using this statement. If you want to replace all occurrences of a specific word with another word, you could just say awk, you could use g substitute or g sub. You first have to enter the old word and then the new word with which you want to change the stuff. But you should be aware that this would not actually be changing the exact file. It would just be giving you the format output on the terminal. Now you could also do some kind of a sorting of the lines of the file by a specific field. So you could use the sort command to do that. You could sum of the values of a specific column in a CSV file. So you could definitely add up all the values maybe to get um, the total lag in a Kafka process. So you could do that kind of stuff which would give you a detailed output of the files. If you would like to extract all the IP addresses from a log file, so this command that you see would be very, very helpful. 
you could definitely check this command on a log file which contains the IP addresses. If you want to merge multiple files into one, you could use the below awk command. Let's look at a practical demo of how awk can be used. We would be reviewing the most used scenarios in this demo. For this, I would be going into my VirtualBox environment. So I would be logging into my terminal, which is this. As you see, I'm already logged into this terminal and we already have some files. Let me just remove the files. I'll first be entering a normal file. So that is file one dot, let's say a CSV file. And we would quickly add up or put some numbers into it. So let's say uh, I'll go into the insert mode. Let me see if I'm able to save this or not, or else I would use it from a, or else I would have to use the pseudo privileges on it. So uh, I'll say num, I will say name, I'll say status. Let's say the num is 10, the name is uh, daily, the status is city. Let's say it is Mumbai. The status is also city for this. Let's say this is this. I'll say Chennai. This is also a city. Let's say Varanasi. I'll say this to be a town. And let's save it. Now please. So let's do a cat for this and you would see that we already have a list of all the now if you only want to see the second row that is the name of the cities Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Varanasi you could use the command awk hyphen f I'll use the daily meter as comma and I would say print dollar two from file1.csv now you see that uh, we got all the list the list of all the lines in column 2 as we saw now if you want to print column 3 that is the status we could say that it is a city or a town or else if you want to look at the number you could say this if you say dollar zero, this would print you the exact file. That is, the entire line would be printed for us. Here in this example, if you see, uh, if I have to print the number in the num column is greater than twelve, I have to use this following command. That is, awk. If dollar one is greater than twelve, I it would then print the entire thing as we speak now in this particular example even if you see that even if we enter dollar zero or dollar one awk on ubuntu is actually printing the entire line now if you would like to see the uh, output with uh, the sum of all the values that are there in column one you could say awk hyphen f we'll use the comma separation because this is a csv file we will be using the delimiter as a comma then we could say sum plus equal to dollar one this would add all the values in column one and we could print the sum at the end so as you see we are getting the sum as 46 which is what we would be getting <coughs> if we were to add all the values in column one of the file so in this way we could use the awk command for various purposes for churning the output in such a way that we could make some sense out of it or else to use the output as an input file so that we could then send the input as some variables in the file awk is a very important command which is used on a daily basis by millions of uh, linux administrators who are troubleshooting real world scenarios on a day-to-day -day basis we hope you like this very short video please like the video and share it across with your friends if you're not subscribed to the channel 
please subscribe to the channel till then thank you so much for watching keep having a great day